In this video, you will learn how to design a certificate in Microsoft Word. And this is exactly what you will achieve by the end of this tutorial. I will show you how to add your very own custom logo, a seal, and a section for your signatories. In this video, I will show you how to design a certificate of achievement, but you are not only limited to a certificate of achievement. It can be a certificate of participation, certificate of merit, certificate of honor, you name it. So, if you like what you have seen and want to design your own custom certificate, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's create our certificate. Having open Word, I go over to Layout. Under Orientation, I choose Landscape. Next, I go back to the home page and I click on Align Center. In here, I go ahead and enter my text. Certificate of Achievement, hit Enter. This is to certify that hit enter twice, then I enter the name of the recipient of the certificate, hit enter. Next I enter the reason why the certificate will be awarded. So Emmanuel Mar has been awarded this certificate of achievement for meritorious service as a security guard with, then I bring the name of the security company, I create another space. Hit enter and I enter date from January 2020 to April 2021. Hit enter. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and insert my logo. So I click in here at the beginning. Hit enter and I click back in here. Next, I click on insert pictures this device then you go ahead and locate your logo i have mine in here select it click on insert and it will appear right here i can go ahead and reduce the size to this much awesome the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and format my text so certificate of achievement i highlight it and the font i search for colonna mt I have it in here and I go ahead and click on it and the size I'll make it 36 and I'll set it to uppercase awesome next I select this and I change the font to monotype cursiva in here and I'll set the size to 18 perfect if you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. Alright, let's continue. Next is the name. I select it, then I change the font to area black. I have it in here. And I'll increase the size to 22. And I'll go ahead and change it to uppercase. Next, I select this. And I'll change it to Garamond. I have Garamond in here. Then I'll set the size to 14. And I'll change everything to uppercase. My text is very wide in here. So I'll need to truncate this. So I'll click before Meritorious and hit enter. Next is the name of the company. I highlight it. Then I change the font to Garamond in here. The size, I make it 18. I'll change it to uppercase and also bold it up. The date, I'll make everything uppercase. I'll change it to Garamount. Increase the size to 14. And I'll go ahead and bold the date up. So, so that is the month and the year. Click on bold. And do the same thing to this as well next i'll go ahead and insert a text box so i click on text box right here and i'll click on draw text box i draw my text box in here i'll go ahead and enter the name of a signatory and he's going to be the director 
perfect i'll select everything then i'll go to home i change the font to garamond and the size i make it 14 i build it up and i'll go ahead and italize director awesome my text box is still selected i go to shape format under shape fill i choose no fill and the shape outline i choose no outline next i go over to insert then i click on shapes i choose a line i draw my line in here holding down the shift command be able to get a straight line i release it i can move my line with my arrow keys to whichever location i want i think this is cool next i go to shape outline and i'll change the color to black the next thing I'm going to do is select the line and then the text in here. The line is already selected. I hold down control key on my keyboard. Then hovering around the text box, you see this arrow with plus icon. Click on it to select everything. I can go ahead and group it if I want. And I will have a duplicate of the whole thing. So I'll go to home. Click on copy. I click aside and click on paste so i'll make sure it's in line with the first one perfect then i can move it to the right side holding down shift it will be in the same line i click in here to change the name and the portfolio will be human resource i italize it now i need the name and the job title to be aligned right just as this one is aligned left so first of all i'll ungroup the shapes just right click anywhere go to groups then click on ungroup click aside then select the text box go ahead and use your arrow keys to move it to this match then highlight all the text click on home then i go ahead and click on align right perfect the next thing i'm going to do is rule a line under the name of the rd so i go to insert shapes i choose line click in here holding down shift you get a straight line i release my mouse and i can use my arrow key to position it well with the line selected i go to shape format shape outline i choose black shape outline again i go to weight then i choose one and half the line is still selected i go to align and i click on align center awesome the next thing i'm going to do is get my seal over here so i just click aside to deselect everything next i go to insert pictures this device and i go ahead and choose my seal insert with the image selected i go over to picture format then under wrap text i choose in front of text and now i can position it to whatever location i want so i put it right here the next thing i'm going to do is go to insert shapes i choose rectangle and i'll go ahead and draw my rectangle in here i don't need this space up here so i use my arrow keys to move it up and i'll also reduce the width of the rectangle this much with my arrow keys i'll move it to the middle of the seal just like this with the shape still selected i go to shape fill and i'll go ahead and use more fill and the custom i come to the hex code select the color code in there and i enter my own code then i go ahead and click on ok i've gotten the color during the creation of the seal next thing i do is go to shape outline and i'll choose no outline next i go to send backward drop down the arrow and I click on send to back and that is that our certificate is done and I can zoom out to see everything clearly awesome I like this so this is yet another way you can design a certificate I hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos keep watching and I'll see you in the next one